Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out a whole face of makeup of e.l.f. So this is going to be a one brand um, review of some e.l.f. products that I recently just received. I got some new stuff, I used kind of some old stuff. It actually is really affordable and like some of the stuff that you can get is really good. I already prepped and primed my face so it's ready to go. Um, I'm going to first start off by using the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, which I've reviewed already in the channel. So this foundation is in the shade Buff, and when I first reviewed it, I was a little bit um, too light to match it, and I think I'm still pretty light compared to like this shade, so I think I'm going to go ahead and mix it in with a little bit of whitener, and um, this foundation is a little bit orangey so I couldn't find a mixer that I could use with it so I'm just going to use my NYX um, Pro foundation mixer and it's just pure white so once again I have my candle lit and I'm going to squeeze a little bit out and then mix it. I'm going to zoom you guys in and then swatch it a little bit. This is what I look like. There it is. Can you guys tell? It's pretty dark. And it's continuing to oxidize and get a little bit darker. So I don't think that this would be a good idea to go with. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it. That foundation retails for $6. So it's really pretty affordable. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of this mixer onto the plate. Oh my god, I'm almost running out. So... Not sure if we're gonna get enough. All right, guys. I think this is this is the lightest that I'm gonna go. And if anything, I'll just highlight the rest of my face to lighten it. So another thing that I'm gonna try out are the Elf Booster Drops. This is um, an antioxidant booster, and it's supposed to like help. Ooh, you can see my finger that makes the foundation. <laughs> um. Let's get that off. Anyways, these drops are supposed to um, help with your foundation. You can either mix it or you can just use them every day for like skincare. Um, it claims to provide um, vitamin C, vitamin E, snow mushroom extract, yada yada yada. And so um, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that into my foundation even though I've already mixed like liner in it. I'm going to try to add these and I'm only going to add like one or two drops because I'm kind of nervous if it will help or hurt it. So maybe just one. Let's try one. Okay. Let's mix it in. I hope it doesn't ruin the, the foundation or separate. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, I mean like, these are e.l.f. products so they should work well together or at least I would hope the e.l.f. made them so that it works well. So at first it kind of looked like it was going to separate but then now I think it's good to go. So let's go ahead and apply this. So I'm just going to dot this on my face, like I usually do. Ah. I hope you guys can see this. Alright. So... Just dotted it, and now I'm going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. Um, foundation blurring brush, like this, I'm going to top it in, kind of just stippling it to try and get the maximum coverage. I mean, the foundation color is still dark even after I have lightened it. So, 
beware if you're gonna buy this foundation make sure to get a shade lighter because it is going to um, oxidize and turn a little bit orange so might be a problem for some people me included <laughs> so just looking at this so far you can see it's a little bit darker than my body but I mean like I can make it work I just need to blend it to every single area of my body so you can already see I'm not sure if you guys can notice this but this right here has been sitting for a while and this was like freshly put on and there's definitely um, oxidation happening because those two colors are not the same color the foundation itself doesn't look bad like it looks very nice and it does have decent coverage but the only problem is that it oxidizes so badly so it's kind of unpredictable I'm not sure if this foundation is gonna work out anymore unless I get like really really tan because I stepped back and looked at myself in a full mirror in the daytime like in the daylight and it was disaster let's try and lighten this up with some highlighter the only concealer that I have from elf cosmetics is the HD lifting um, concealer that I tried out in the other video but this is in the shade light and just swatching this on my hand it is darker than my foundation so I'm not sure if this is gonna work out this is what it looks like and it's not very light considering it was the lightest shade and just to be um, just to compare I'm gonna swatch the foundation next to it Wait, let me give it a moment to oxidize because that's when it shows its true colors. So give me a moment. This was the foundation. This is the concealer. I don't think adding this concealer is going to actually lighten anything and highlight. So I'm going to have to pass on the concealer. Otherwise, this look will be a disaster. So sorry, guys. I'm not really doing a full face of e.l.f because it would be really, really bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another um, very affordable concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in the shade C6. I love this. It is full coverage, it is affordable. Let me check the price real quick. For anyone wondering, you can buy this at Ulta. I bought mine at Ulta. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it's like a dupe for the tape, shape, tape, concealer, and personally, I've had the shape tape, but um, my shade was too light, so I never really like got to enjoy it, so I wouldn't really know, but I would agree that it does have really, really good full coverage, and so, okay, this concealer is sold for $7, so it's very affordable, still in the range, um, of drugstore so we're gonna go ahead and pop that under the eyes this shade is definitely lighter than me right now so I am hoping it will provide for some lightness I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my eyes like so my eyes have been so bad lately cuz like allergy season has caused me to rub my eyes a lot and I can't help it like it's literally killing me slowly not literally but you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and put this like everywhere cuz I need lightness right now okay this enough for now and then I'm going to take my shop Miss A AOA sponge and this is the light pink one I think it's like the extra soft um, version and this only costs a dollar so definitely in the range of elf so I go ahead and blend that out
So definitely, I look way better now. Lightened up, less like a tan person because I'm not very tan. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some Cody Airspun and wipe away. Oh, I got it in my eye. Oh God. My eyes are watering. I'm gonna cry soon. <laughs> okay, I can't cry. It's gonna ruin my face. Wait, this tear is about to fall out. Oh my god, I think it's falling out. Guys, why am I crying? Stop crying. You're creasing. Oh my god. Panic mode. I just literally dropped my mirror. I hope it didn't break. <gasps> Yay! Guys, it's alive. It's alive! I just finished setting the areas of my face that I think needed help. So pretty much like everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and use some face powder and finally another e.l.f. item. This is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. So this is in the shade light slash medium because I thought, let's see if this matches. And this is what it looks like. It's just a pressed powder. Looks like it match. So we're going to go ahead and use that to kind of add a little bit more coverage, a little bit more color onto my face and not just like cake. Well, I guess I'm just adding more so it's just more cake. But anyways, I'm going to use um, the e.l.f. Flawless face brush use this and go ahead and use that okay let's see oh <laughs> so it's just adding more um tan back into my skin not sure if this is what i was looking for Yeah, I don't know. Good thing is that it does look pretty nice. Like, I think it smooths it over like it, it's supposed to do. So I'm liking that. The only thing is I would probably pick up a light color next time, which I don't know why I didn't. I was just thinking like, maybe I'm light and medium now, but I've learned my lesson. Um, <laughs> anyways. Moving on, so that powder was um, only, let's see, let's see how much I bought, how much I paid for that. So the powder was only $2, so I would definitely agree that um, this powder is affordable and you should get it because it does add some coverage, it does smooth over your skin, however, if you can't find your right color, you should probably pass on this one, but just pick it up anyways if if you think you would like it because I, I like it. It makes me look smooth and tan. So I would definitely make sure that you get your right color. Okay, I just had to cut my face because it was looking a little dark under there. So while it's going on, I also have a blush from e.l.f. called Blushing. That's what it looks like. It's a nice pink baby color. It's like not hecka bright, but it's, it's pink. And so just looking at this, it has a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of sheen. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this will work out. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, we tried. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. So it's not like very pigmented, but you can see the color as you apply more layers. See, you can see that has more of a pink rosiness to it versus this side. I'm not sure. And this blush I actually received for free because, um, when you order e.l.f. online, 
if you buy uh, $25 or more, you can get a free, um, like, four-piece thing. So this was included in the free gifts. I like it. It has a nice natural like glow to it while also giving you the the natural blushing color versus if it's like hella pigmented then it kind of looks kind of like clownish. So I like that you can build this up and it has a nice little shimmer glow so it makes you look extra healthy. So another thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of a brown color I do have this eyeshadow duo that also came for free this is um, an eyeshadow duo called pink pal this is what it looks like two little cute pans yay and I'm gonna use the brown shade this one to kind of like put it under my under my lip to emphasize um, my small lips so get a little bit of the brown shade knock it off and yeah oh okay okay look at that mm. now it looks like I have lips Woo! even though it doesn't look like a lot but in your head you're kind of like subconsciously like yes my lips look luscious like I don't know maybe it's just a me thing and I'm also going to use that brown color to kind of go down the bridge of my nose to uh, snatch it a little bit I never really do nose contour but for the purpose of this video I'm going to go ahead and try it out so if it looks disgusting I'm so sorry <laughs> okay oh my god I instantly feel a little bit of regret not gonna lie but um it's a little too late to stop now so I'm gonna try and blend this thing out so it's not looking the best I kind of look like I broke my nose to be honest what happened I'm so sorry I feel like my boyfriend's gonna see me he's gonna be like did you break your nose and I'm gonna be like no and he's gonna say oh it looks like it and I'm gonna cry a little bit inside I think it got worse you might be thinking how could it get any worse it just did I'm gonna have to severely um, bake it till it looks better well, my face is looking a little crusty dusty and I'm going to go ahead and um, spray some juice on it so that it can rejuvenate itself because it's looking a little cakey. Um, this is actually the Mario Badescu, Badescu rose water but I just put it in the um, all nighter bottle because I ran out of this but I don't like the mister on the rose water bottle so I just put it in this. So. This is actually only a couple, I think like $8, something. So, spray that up real good. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I um, didn't have any brow products that I wanted to try out from e.l.f. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. Um, I only have the eyeshadows that I showed you guys earlier um, called Pink Pals and then I also picked up a um, Molten Liquid Eyeshadow from e.l.f. I wanted to try this out. This is a liquid gold color. So I'm going to use the pink all over my lid. And there's no pigment. This isn't going to work out, so I'm just going to use the brown on the outer edge and then put the gold in the middle. We'll see how that goes. I'm done with this. This is... No. It's a pass. Even if it was free, like, it's not that good. 
Anyways, moving on. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out this bad boy. The thing that I've been really excited about trying. So I hope it's good. I hope it's pigmented, but you know, it is cheap, so you can't really complain. Even though I've been complaining. Yikes. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my hand. So this is my arm, actually. So this is what it looks like. To be honest, like... I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. Next, I have the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. And I'm really hoping that this works out because I need something to pop on my eyes. So I have this um, Sephora angled liner brush. This is the number 22 and I've never used this so we don't see. And this is a cream eyeliner so it's very soft. Oh, it's super soft. Okay. Good luck to me. I might just ruin my whole face. It's whatever. We'll see. Okay. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Why does my wing look like that? It looks depressed. It looks sad. I'm digging the eyeliner. I would say yes to the eyeliner. And that was only $3. So very affordable, very cheap. And next, I'm going to move on to the lips. And so lately I've been trying to get into like glosses and like the shiny movement. So I have this um, lip gloss um, contraption. So this is the color. It's like a nice pink, pinky color. And then here they have like a cushion where you squeeze, you twist the bottom and it comes out of that. And you can tell I've used it. So I have my thoughts on it, but... I'm going to go ahead and try it so you guys can see how, what it looks like. This was the Luscious Lipstick, uh, Luscious Liquid Lipstick in the color, ooh, ooh, and this dropped, in the color Baby Lips, and this only cost a dollar, so it's very, very cheap, very affordable. Okay, this is it. Yes, finally. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist it up. Oops, <laughs> sorry guys. So as you can see, it adds that nice little shine and a little bit of color. That's pretty much all I have. So thank you so much for watching this video and um, watching me try out a bunch of e.l.f. products and a bunch of products that weren't e.l.f. products. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Um, the final thoughts, I would say that for the foundation, I would recommend it if you could find your shade. And make sure that you get the shade that is a little bit lighter because it's going to oxidize. At least it did on, on the shade Buff. In terms of the concealer, I've already tried it in the, old, other, in the other elf video. And I didn't like how dark it was on me. But if it matches you, it might like be okay. But um, I would say another one that I would re recommend in place would be the Makeup, makeup Revolution Um concealer because that one really works well and it's high coverage and it's pretty affordable affordable as well the next product that i mentioned was i believe the um finishing powder which is this the pressed powder i would recommend this one because it is full or it's not full coverage it, it adds a little bit of coverage it smooths your skin over and as long as you get your shade once again um you should be good so basically the whole theme of this is if it matches you you should try it and um the blush i got for free and i liked it because it had a nice sheen while providing like a natural looking blush and rosiness and um as far as the eyeshadow stuff, I wouldn't recommend the eyeshadow duo, but I, I, I think you should try out the liquid eyeshadow. And what else? What else? What else? And the eyeliner, yes, I do recommend because it is very affordable. It has a nice creamy texture. It's easy to use if you know how to apply eyeliner. It's um, It dries down nice and not too fast, not too slow. And the lip gloss, I would say you should try it out because it's very affordable, very cute, especially now in the in this um, 
recent year or so like lip gloss has gotten very um popular sorry i started to taste the lip gloss it tastes good but like don't don't eat it but overall i hope you guys enjoyed this this is the final product and i'll see you guys next time bye